finally I've finished painting Auntie Pond's garden shed. Time to go back into my mysteriously adult free house and... Uh, what's that funny noise? eggs? You've smashed my shed! Just who the heck do you think you are? Oh, I'm David Ten... Oh, no, 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 that's not right. Oh, yes, I'm the new Dr. Wahizel. Who are you? I'm Amy Duckpond, your glamorous new kissogram. <laughs> Sorry, companion. <laughs> oh, I assume looking like that, uh, you'll have to pay people to kiss you. You cheeky, raggedy doctor. What are you doing here, anyway? I've uh, come to your village to take a look at your crack. My what? Crack in your wall, stupid. Hmm. Mysterious number prisoner. Village. You know, that rings a bell. Where am I? In Lidworth Village. Who are you? The new number two. Who is number one? Oh, do I look like I have all the answers, you stupid weasel? No. Oh, don't let the rover hit you on the way out. <laughs> See you, Jimmy, more like. Atta! Ooh! What? Oh, oh. Be seeing you! I think you've got your numbers confused, Doctor. Meh. Six of one and zero of another. Anyway, we should really focus on reviewing the most important, strikingly important aspect of this new series. Uh, small girls letting strange men into their house. Strange dietary habits, your appalling dress sense, the new look TARDIS perhaps, or the alien. <laughs> ah, get out of it, Prisoner Zero. <laughs> now, Amy, I was talking about your short shorts, luscious hair, and fabulously dreamy legs. <laughs> Honestly, can a girl help it if she's got nice pins? Not since Leela hung up her leather loincloth have we had such glorious fun service as Amy Pond's gams. You dirty old weasel. Though, uh, frankly, uh, the way I remember it, uh, your legs were a hell of a lot sexier in the episode. Git! Ha! <laughs> anyway, uh, what the hell have they done to my theme tune? It sounded worse than that Pertwee experimental stylophone version. Oh, I don't know. I, I think it's beginning to grow on me. Possibly, um, maybe, a bit. Hmm, I have my doubts. Now, I did like all the nods to the Doctor's past, like uh, Davison's cricket bat, Colin's appetite, Pertwee's uh, jacket, and uh, what was left of Tennant's costume. Yes, uh, I guess the bald, angry guy with the uh, dog was uh, Eccleston. Oh, harsh, Amy. I will say the uh, big I am the Doctor scene with the uh, giant eyeball felt a bit flat to me. Yes, I would have thought the epoxy. Atraxy? Oh, whatever. Would have laughed in his face. Well, yes, if they'd had mouths. Yes, quite. Um, uh, still, overall, I thought this was a marvellously scripted start to our new young Doctor's tenure. A rather attractive new companion and a quite an interesting approach for the new show. But what will the silence mean for the Doctor? That, um, I think Moffat's written another library-centric episode. Anyway, I must say, next week's British Empire in Space looks pretty fabulous. Oh, yes, Amy. In fact, um, we better get going. You know, unless you had any other plans. No, 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 no. Nothing at all.